You it is good, you it's your boy Todd back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about something that really bugs me and my team. These are not the packs we want. Okay, that, that's the first thing. And second thing, the fact that they're talking about super pack sale, limited time discount, season one, two, and three, super packs on sale now in the My Team Pack market for 48 hours only. Look, they're making it seem like these are a good deal. Okay, so season one and two packs are 25% off uh, for a 10 box. 20 boxes are 30% off. And then for season three packs, uh, those are for season one and season two. For season three, it's 15% off, uh, you know, it's uh, a 10 box. And, and, and for a 20 box, it's, uh, it, as you guys can see, 25% off. But look. <laughs> yeah, guys, enjoy the season three 20 pack box with a diamond topper. Yay. Hooray. Like, what are these, guys? What are these? And then you go and look at the pack odds, and they are horrible. Yeah, you have a 10% chance to pull a pink diamond. But do you guys realize, out of those pink diamonds, who you're probably going to pull? Bailey Howell, Bob Cousy, Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, Grant Hill. You have a less than 2% chance to pull an opal. And don't sit here and act like these opals are going for anything special. These are horrible. These are not the packs we want. Instead, 2K could have given us a Turbo Eclipse pack to put more Yao Mings in the market, which more people would have opened, okay? More people want those than this. And don't get me started on this. Do not get me started on this. You have a 2% chance to pull a pink diamond, and the cheapest is 11,000 VC. Now, I'm going to do this for the, I'm not going to open packs, but for the sake of this video, you guys realize 11000 is basically $5. So for every $5 you spend, you have a, yeah, oh, well, everything's an amethyst guaranteed. Granted, the amethysts are horrible, okay? They're just horrible. And sure, you might pull some other stuff, but amethysts are guaranteed. You have a 8% chance to pull a diamond or higher, who is who are horrible, and then only a less than 2% chance. Less than 2% chance to pull a pink diamond. Now, let me let me just go and let me let me go show you guys something. These cards are buyouts, and you have a less than two percent chance to pull them. I don't know why 2K would drop these, but I do know it would make you guys sick, absolutely sick, to know how much money 2K is making on these packs. And and, and I, I obviously I'm not opening them, and you guys watching this video aren't opening them. But the but, but but the fact that they say super pack sale limited time discount season one two and three super packs are now on sales for only forty eight hours thirty percent off a twenty box man I don't care this should be ninety percent off the way I see it like you should be able to open a twenty box for like ten thousand VC and don't get me started on these season two super packs these are horrible value too like. They want like a 3% chance to pull a pink diamond. Hooray! Like these are horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like nobody's even worth it in any of these packs, man. And that's what I'm trying to get at. At least in this season two packs, I will say this. At least in the season two packs, you can pull Kareem. Like at least. But still, it's it's horrible. Like at least you can pull Kareem, I guess. I'm just telling you guys. It would make you sick, sick, sick to, to, to just know how much 2K is making out of these. And again, if you pull a Pioneers player out of the season two pack, you're making a decent amount of MT, I guess. So, I mean, I guess you could pull these and just hope you pull a Pioneers player. I mean, that's going to be your best option because any of these other guys you pull are basically worthless. I'm just saying 2K could have came out with an incredible super boosted turbo packs that they teased at. They literally teased us. With the flight school packs. They literally teased y'all. Y'all got teased. Y'all thought, okay, since we're going to see these flight school packs, I personally thought, okay, Eclipse packs are next, and then they're going to finish off the season with Cosmic packs. 2K said, you thought? No, they're not doing that, man. 2K does not care, man. Again, they don't care. They they do care about VC sales, but um, my guess is they're holding out for that last week, and then they're just going to drop season four super packs. So, look, guys. 
If you spend any money on season one, two, and three super packs, I'm sorry because I'm telling you guys, season four super packs are coming next week. And if you do want to open packs, those are probably going to be the best packs to open depending on their odds. Because look, I mean, you got Magic Johnson, you got Ben Simmons, you got Dirk, James Harden, Vince Carter, Yao Me. I mean, you've got all of those cards that hopefully, you know, stay at least somewhat pricey that you can open for. I, I, I just saw this and I had to do a double take. Like, what are these? And why? Why do they? Why are they? Uh, they're making it seem like these are a good deal. And that's what I hate. And obviously, from a marketing standpoint, I get it what 2K is doing. But you guys, like, season one packs for, for $5? Like, if you're, if you're getting, let's say you're getting minimum wage. Or let's just say you're making $10 an hour. You literally would have to work, if it's not a tax write-off for you, probably 45 minutes after taxes to open one of these packs. I don't even know how else to phrase it. That is horrible. That is absolutely horrible, man. And I get it. 2K is all in it for the money. But who comes up with dropping Season 1 Super Packs in the middle of February? Like, these have been gone. And these every one of these players is worthless. There is not one player in here I'm like, oh, they're worth something. No, like, as far as playing with them, each and every one of these players are worthless. So my whole thing is, what is the point of getting them? Like, I, I just don't get it. What is what is the point? Like, they could have at least dropped super packs for, I mean, specific players so it would be easier to get D'Angelo Russell because you guys don't want to know how much I spent on getting D'Angelo Russell today. Y'all would be sick. Y'all would be sick. Y'all would be absolutely sick. And obviously, he's way cheaper on PlayStation than Xbox. But it is what it is. I spent way too much money on D'Angelo Russell. It is what it is. It's part of it. But I'm just saying, they could drop Super Packs in any other way. But just saying, Season 1 Super Packs with a 2% chance of pulling a Pink Diamond is crazy. At least give us like a, for a Pink Diamond, I don't know, a 15% chance? I mean, then maybe I'd be like, okay, these are solid. And at least here, give us like a 10% chance to see a Pink Diamond. Like, I just feel like 2K is trolling, man. I really feel like they're trolling. And, and it kind of bugs me, man. And they're like, oh yeah, in season two, you can pull the Galaxy Opal. The only Galaxy Opal you can even pull is Paul George. These are not the packs we want. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you guys. I don't open packs. I never will in the future. But if I was to open packs, I'd be way more inclined to open Eclipse Turbo Packs with Yao Ming, Ja Morant, Kawhi Leonard, than the packs that we just got today as far as super packs. There's something that, that, that I felt like 2K was getting away from these just boring super packs. I was mistaken. They're back, and uh, and I'm not happy about it in my team. Look, these are maybe the worst value packs I have ever seen with my own two eyes. But 2K will tell you, they're on sale. It's going to wrap it up, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.